Welcome back. Today I have 15 more chair practice to share to all of you guys. But before we can get started in this one, I would like you to do me a favor. So on my channel, 12% of the people that watching my video are subscribed. Unfortunately, 81% of the people that watch my video, they don't subscribe. And I hope you spend a little time to subscribe to my channel to see more video like this. So now we can move on to the first weeks. This is the tweak for control center. So if I invoke control center right here, and over time you can see um, the random color on the background right here on control center. And it is pretty awesome. And you can see on the module as well, the color has been changed over time. Move on to blurry alerts for the tweaks. It is basically just give you alerts from tvOS into your iOS version and it has the same style so if I click on test right here you can see we have the blurry background and also we have the pop-up right here just like tvOS and one more thing you can also customize the background where you can select on light, dark or adaptive and even glass right here we can also change the button right here as well so you can go either light dark adaptive um, just like the background as well let's go to keyboard color hi for the simple tweak you can change the keyboard color on your iphone so you just select the color right here so pick the color that you like and then click on done and i'm gonna apply change and it will change throughout the system so everywhere that you invoke your keyboard you're gonna have the color that you have just changed and right here, I can just invoke keyboard and you can see the keyboard has been changed just like the color that we have just um, selected. Sentinel is a brand new side the tweaks. So for the purpose of the tweaks, it's gonna allow you to re-jailbreak your phone. And as you may know on Simi and Tech Touch jailbreak line and cover. So when you shut down your phone, you have to um, boot up and re-jailbreak your phone. But for the tweaks, it can allow you to fake shut down and ask the person that you have set. And as you can see now, on my device, I have 66% left. So I'm gonna change to, let's say, go to um, lower than 66. And then as soon as um, it reach the percentage that I have just set, it gonna fake shut down my phone to prevent my phone from completely shutting down and then I don't have to re-jailbreak my phone it is pretty awesome so I'm gonna apply change so as soon as my phone hit the percentage that I have just set before it gonna turn black and you can see when I touch anything it doesn't turn on this is the way that you can preserve your jailbreak while you are running out of battery so it doesn't completely turn off your phone so to wake your phone up you can click on the volume up three times now you can see my phone has been turned on again move on to safari in message so usually with ios version when you have the link in message app and when you click on that link it's gonna bring you to safari but after you install this one, you can just directly using Safari inside message and you can see I have apple.com link right here. So when I click on it, it's gonna go into um, the link. So without having to go to Safari and I can just browse right here directly from my message app. It is pretty awesome and also useful. You don't have to spend some time to go to Safari. When I finish reading it, I just click on done to go back. Lock widgets is an essential tweak where you can pin the widget into your iPhone lock screen. So I'm gonna go back to settings and go to lock widgets right here where I can click on select widgets. And then I can just select the widget so I can just move one of the widgets to the top. And I have picture widgets right here. For this one, it is an app from the App Store. You can download it for free. So it can allow you to add a picture into the widgets. You can see this app right here and this is the app itself. So I'm gonna go back to settings and then I can just um, select widgets again. And here is the widget that I have just enabled. And then I can just, um, after you select it, make sure you apply. But for me, I have already selected and apply. And then I can just go back to lock screen and you can see here we have the picture widgets pinned to the lock screen. 
move on to translumate text where you can translate the text with just one tab and for this trick it supports up to 100 languages so you can select the language that you want to translate to and here I'm gonna select on Khmer so I'm gonna translate from English to Khmer and then where I can just enable the application that I want to translate so I'm gonna select on Safari and you can see Safari has been enabled and one more thing you can also enable Safari translate button so after you enable this one you can go back to Safari and at the bottom you're gonna find translate button right here or you can just select the text right here that you want to translate and then you're gonna see translate text button right here so I'm gonna click on it it gonna translate and make sure you have internet enabled and you can see here it is translate straight away with just a second or I can just click on this button to translate the entire page now you can see this this whole page has been translated it is pretty awesome and pretty useful we move on to bus bus slide for the simple trick i cannot show you on the screen but what i can tell you it gonna give you a haptic feedback so when you click on a simple thing like this you're gonna feel a haptic feedback on your hand also even you lock your phone and unlock your phone click on the system and scroll and everything you're gonna feel a haptic feedback and just like the android so if you have used the android for a while you're gonna um, feel the same way the same things we have pause on mute right here so the tricks it is basically allow you to pause the music when you decrease the volume all the way down and i can go to music app and now my music is playing so if I increase the volume you can see the music is automatically play but if I decrease into the lowest it's gonna pause the music straight away it is pretty useful you don't have to manually click on a pause button counter let you know how many times that you have unlocked your phone so after you install counter make sure you go to settings and go to control center click on customize controls and scroll all the way down make sure you find counter click on the plus button right here and then you can just invoke control center and you're gonna find here I have unlocked um, 10 times so my phone has been unlocked 10 times for this one it is a wallpaper for this one it gonna include the wallpaper from iPhone SE 2016 the iPhone 7, iPhone 8 and the iPhone 8R and all of those wallpaper from those devices gonna come together here so you can select on the new wallpaper right here and make sure you have wallpaper loader installed on your device and then you can go to still scroll all the way down and you're gonna find original wallpaper from iPhone 7, iPhone SE, iPhone 8 and the iPhone 8R it is pretty awesome it just like all in one and you can just select to set the wallpaper right here move on to battery light so for battery light you cannot mess up in the settings right here so I have test it on iOS 13.5 it doesn't work in settings so when you enable some of the button here it gonna crash and make your device goes to um, safe mode but at least the application on the springboard does work so you can see some information that's why I introduce you the trick to you so I'm gonna go to um, battery light right here so it is on the home screen as well so where you can see the information about your device so you can see the battery health we have capacity right here and also we have the battery charge for my iPhone battery health it has 90% right now and you can see the information here and it always update every 20 seconds move on to beautiful numbers and for this one it is a theme so you can have snowboard and select the theme right here and make sure you enable beautiful number and one more thing you need to install extensions and make sure you have extension installed your on your device so this is called snowboard ui extension so you make sure you install it and then when you go to phone and go to keypad you can see we have the new keypad button right here and also on your device especially for um, the passcode screen we, you also have the new passcode screen as well 
Now move on to who made it and it is a tweak for side idea. So usually when you install a tweak from the side idea, it, it gonna show by the repo. But after you install who made it, it gonna show the author instead of the repo. And you can see here it is by Pumsmart. And right here it is by Spark. And you can see instead of the repo, we can see the author itself. Lastly, move on to LA Boy. And for this one, it is a widget where you can see the charge button at the bottom. And now when I charge my phone, you can see it gonna turn it gonna turn to charge button right here. And now when I unplug, it gonna um, replace with the new icon right here. So it is a widget. But before you can get this widget to work, you need to house in HTML and also you need to house in info. And the repo you can find in my um, video description. I include both of the repo. So finally, thanks for watching. I hope you like all of these tweaks. And one more thing, as I always did, the wallpaper and the theme I include in my video description at the bottom. You can find them.